You know, if you trust that person and you really like that person, then long distance is something that y'all can do. Y'all better can communicate through FaceTime and stuff like that. Um, could I do a long distance relationship? I probably can because I'm just very like my job, what I do, I can do it anywhere. So I'm definitely down to like travel to my person or FaceTime my person. And I feel like it gives long distance relationships sometimes gives the relationship more of a spice because you're like extra excited when you see that person so the vibe is just there so um you know it's, it depends on like you know the person the people basically i feel like you don't have to go to like violence they people want you to stoop to their level when a nine out of ten when somebody is picking on you and is trying to bully you or they trying to constantly make you feel bad about themselves I mean about yourself is because they feel bad about their self. So as long as you ignore them and you constantly just kill them with kindness, sometimes you gotta kill them with kindness, but you ain't gotta say nothing. But as long as you just doing you and just, you know, every time they say something to you, you just constantly giving them, you just reading them and just saying, if you're not happy with yourself, baby, just say that. Don't be coming over here trying to ruin my day. And I guarantee you they'll feel played and they'll try to back off. But um, I don't really know how to deal with a female bully. Just necessarily a lot of times the females they just be jealous of you so just continue doing you and doing whatever you're doing because obviously it's making these hoes real mad mad <laughs> but sometimes stuff just don't work out sometimes you could be the perfect package at the wrong house a lot of times it i wouldn't say that it's a dumb idea to go back to somebody who cheated it depends on the situation and it's not good to cheat i just really couldn't answer that because a lot of people go back to somebody who cheated and they have a whole it's, it's how you handle it you can't sit there and accept somebody cheating on you you have to leave you have to choose yourself first you have to you know what i mean and then do time if it's just meant for y'all to be back together that's just how i feel like i feel like you cheat on me i just can't i don't really know like it's i'm kind of like what and what with this situation because it's just such a touchy subject you know what i mean i just feel like it's it's all depends on you but at the end of the day you have to let that person know this is what it's gonna be if you cheated on me if it ever happened again this then the third so that I believe in people you know I don't know y'all be caught texting the girl it depends on you and what you feel comfortable with and what you're able to forgive because when somebody cheat on you that the whole trust that the whole communicate it's Trust in general, and trust is like the most important part of a relationship. If you ain't got trust in somebody, everything can go down here from there. So it really all just depends on you. I'm guessing in a relationship, when a relationship is just negative, when you're crying more than you're smiling, when you're sad more than you're happy, when it's just negative, it's, it's more, you know, cons to the relationship than pros that's when i feel like it's time to move on when you're just no longer happy and you know you longer yourself you no longer love yourself 
Um, I feel like that's when you move on. It's just kind of when, when I can't really tell people when to move on. It's like when you you know when it's time to move on. Like you'll feel it. Like you can say a lot, and people can tell you it's time to move on. It's time to move on. But you will know in your heart when it's time that you just need to let. But no, for real. Me explain, you know how you just be. I bet, like, he is so lucky because I am a really good baby mama. Like, I don't give no drama, I don't get no baby mama drama. Nine out of ten, most of the time, I don't be giving up about nothing he got going on. I'm just glad that we have a non toxic relationship, just, just, just peer, you know, for the kid, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times. People will have this toxic, old, nasty relationship. So you got problems with bitter baby mamas. And, you know, I got my own stuff going on. He got his own stuff going on. I just, I'm just glad that we can have an understanding and be mature adults. Because I really felt like we was meant to, you know, do what we did. Get to where we are together. And... And be great friends. I don't look at us like, um, you know, who knows? I don't think, you know, sometimes, a lot of the times, I don't think we was meant to be together. I feel like we were meant, even before we had ever got together, we were great friends. And even before, um, yeah, before everything, we were just great friends. We were just like genuinely great friends. So I feel like I'm just so blessed to have a drama free environment for casa you know it's kind of like i'm able to like if god if you know in the future if i get married and he gets married i feel like we're totally capable of having like a big family like a big you know holiday not really necessarily holidays because everybody gonna do what they want to do but you know we're totally capable of like going to casa's graduation together and everybody laughing and having fun and there's no shadiness going on and we're totally capable of going to his birthday parties together and throwing stuff as you know as a unit and then not just being separated like his mom died his mom's side and his dad's side you know what i mean so i just think that's a really big blessing i'm very blessed to um have a relationship you know with my child's father and it's not toxic because i know a lot of times when a lot of people break up especially in our situation it's very toxic and it's very immature and i strive to be uh as mature as possible and he strives to be mature as possible it's like a Cap capricorn thing we communicate when he has kaiser or when he brings somebody around kaiser communication is there i trust and believe um a lot of people ask me do i have a problem with him being around um like his dad's like female friends and stuff like that I might look crazy, but his dad's female's friends or somebody his dad is dealing with. I feel like as long as you trust your, um, because Kaza is going to meet a lot of people in his life. You know what I mean? And he not going to remember, oh, my daddy had, uh, my daddy had 15 girls, girlfriends coming over. He don't even know what girlfriends is at when I was two years old. You know what I mean? So I just feel like a lot of people be like, oh, I don't have this my child da, 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 da. I feel like I trust explain enough to where the trust is there you know he's not he loved Kaza just as much as I love Kaza he will never Kaza would die I mean explain would die for Kaza he would hey, one thing about explain he is a great father so I just feel like he would never put his child in harm way and I would never put my child in harm way so I feel like as long as we understand that I feel like I trust him enough to for him to um you know be able to judge who and who cannot be around Kaiser on his watch and I you know me being me I trust myself enough or he trusts me enough where it's like you know I don't mind having this person and that person around Kaza because you know you trust that person to be around him and as long as he's in your care he's gonna be fine you know what I mean I feel like that's offensive to the to I feel like it's offensive to um the other person if if I'm jumping down his throat because he brings a certain person around Kaza I feel like that's just being bitter honestly I feel like only and I don't take offense to this or don't take it as I'm just now I, I apologize if I come off I'm saying it wrong or I don't 
I don't um, understand the dynamics of the situation. I apologize because I know there's people out there say I don't want my child around a lot of his dad's females or I don't want my child around this person. But I just feel like me, in my personal opinion, I'm not attacking anybody. And y'all can tell me um, different ways in y'all sides on why y'all feel like y'all y'all like y'all would like for y'all children to stay away, away from y'all you know y'all baby daddies like female friends and stuff like that but to me it just feels like that's just being bitter you know what i mean i feel like i'm in a happy place in my life he's in a happy place in his life what what's what's him being around a female gonna hurt kaisa if i feel like if a female likes the dad of a child that female is going to respect that child. That female is going to care for that child as if though she, he, he or she is their own because they want to impress the dad or they want a good relationship with the dad. And you know, a lot of kids, a lot of you know, females adore children, whether they got them or not. You know, kids are cute and nice. I feel like once you start, and a lot of the times, I feel like when the mama is super mean and when the the baby mama is super mean and messy and shady that's when um a lot of times people start doing it just because you got a nasty attitude or they don't like you so i'd never be shady to um any of splain's female friends or any splain's because i would never want nobody to treat my child bad when i'm not around which i know you know i trust and respect that his dad will um uh, you know, never put him in harm's way, but I, I wouldn't want nobody treating my child any type of way. So I'm not going to go out and go out my way just to be dirty to somebody or be make somebody feel uncomfortable. That's going to be around my child when I'm not around. You know what I mean? And I just feel like it's just very healthy. You know, I, I feel like it's a very I'm in a very healthy state. Spring's a very healthy state. So it's just none. It's just no drama. You know what I mean? I ain't no baby mama that's going to get no drama for sure, for sure. I'm all about the good vibes. Spring. He all about the good vibes, and I feel like that's where we, you know, that's where our good friendship comes in, where we all about the good vibes. What's up, Cole? What? Oh, now I'm What's going on? What's going on? I'm What's recording. Good? I'm not going to cool. show them your house, because I don't know if you showed them nah, your own house. Me. All right, y'all, so I'm going to show my face. Mm -hmm. Somebody cooking? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Uh -huh. Y'all cooking? Yeah, what's good? Huh? Yeah, what's good? What you mean, what's good? What's good? What's up? 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 Nice in here. It gets nice and nice every time I come. You do. It gets a little nice, you know what I'm saying? Would you know also you know what you wanna do? First dish or first time like coming over here? No. I told him I came over here before. But you know I don't be walking through the house. No, you don't. I come straight and get the kid and get out. So you wanna give me a little a little one two, you can. I'm just saying, but it's nice. I got you, so see you. I'm gonna show you around, but don't show my don't show. I'ma show only my face. Yeah, so um, this is so, this how we're recording the ceiling in my head. So look, you got, you the, got the, so you got the living room. You know the living room is a vibe. This First of all, I'm gonna start this this is it's real comfy. comfy. It's real comfy. It's real comfy. You know how comfy it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No kids out. Hey. hey. Oh, this is nice and comfy in here. Just the editing. You got it. Mm-hmm. Not not chilling. Knox is cute. Kaza, all he say is Knox. Yeah. This Kaza room, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is where I spend most of my time, y'all. Kaza room. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I come right, it's right by the door, so I come. Hey, and just, yeah, you, you know. Bathroom, you know. Okay. I actually haven't seen this since, like, when I first walked, came, came you know. in. And it's, like, been updated. It's getting decorated and stuff now. You know what I'm saying? It's a little vibe, you know what I'm saying? I got my own. Um, I got the laundry man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the laundry man. Okay. You know John, no bro, sick. 
Hi. Hey. What's going on? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got that She cook eggs. It's like an egg bacon, it's like a bacon sauce. Like a croissant? Like a croissant, yeah. Mm. Wifey. <laughs> Wifey status, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got this going Oh, on. that's what not? Yeah, you go. Know. It don't smell like roaches or nothing. You know what you mean? This is nice. Yeah, I don't they got my vibe. They got my vibe as well. Oh, they got some music in there. I got okay. okay you gotta okay. go pause your vibe first. <laughs> Good. Where's Kaja? He at school. Oh, he's coming here today? Yeah, after. Yeah. Mm hmm. Then you come in here. You know what I'm saying? This is my home. Hey. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. How you doing? Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. How you doing? <laughs> nice and comfy. Nice and comfy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got the bathroom. Mm -hmm. you, check, you know what I'm saying? The it's the guy. I see the glow. We got the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? It's some light. There's nothing to, you know. Something. She got a drawer? You worry about the room. I think you know that, right? You worry about the room. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful over here. I'm not coming nice. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm you can come to my thing. I'm coming to your crib like with the camera. Like, what's good? What's, what's you good? Can. Like, you can. Know my cleaner's coming today. You got to clean. Oh, you got to clean. I like yeah. that. Yeah. That's what's up, you know. I'm going broke like CJ. So but, uh, I can't do that. Uh, That's what's up, you know. I'm going broke like CJ. So but, uh, I can't do that. Uh, I can't, I can't pay for like the thing. Uh, I, I understand that. To the channel press notification bell, man. From New York. She from New York, I'm from Louisiana. York. I'm from Baton Rouge, I'm from the South. I ain't from New York, y'all. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. That's the East Coast. I was putting my city on the map. I'm from it. Fact, ain't nobody really heard Providence, like, Rhode Island. Hey, really ain't no YouTuber really that big from like the East, East, East Coast, Coast. East Coast, Coast. Like really from that East Coast, like. There's no New York one? It's, especially from Rhode Island. Not from Rhode Island. So. I think I'm gonna move to Maine and be become the biggest YouTuber ever. And Maine is boring as hell. You won't be able to do shit. So in my element, like natural, like they got a lot of street. They got, what? Come on, now. I'm sitting here. Like, I moved to LA. Yeah, that's gonna go to. Y'all you know say, all right, child, let's get. Comment shouldn't have been made. Um, I just feel like it was just kind of like you know, what was the point? If you with somebody new, you should never just speak. If you with somebody new and you're in love. You know what I mean? You should just never speak on your past relationships knowing that you have love for that person. Like, it was history. Like, I'm a part of his history. He's a part of my history. He's always going to be a part of my history. You shouldn't belittle the situation or belittle the history with, with somebody you had to, you know, shine light on something you have now. You know what I'm saying? It should just be like a, if, if you were, you had love for that person. That's just how I feel about that situation. As far as him treating her any type of way, I don't feel any type of way about that. You know, he's happy. So it is what it is. I just feel like certain stuff, you just, you know, it's just pointless to even say. Um, somebody said, would you ever be cool with Carmen again? A lot of people ask me this question. No, I will never be cool with Carmen again. Um, how do you feel about your child's father getting a baby so soon? Um, I guess everybody's saying that, you know, it's been only a few months since we broke up. And he's getting a baby. When he, y'all, he told me uh, off camera. Like, he was like, when I went to go pick up Kaiser one day, he was like, oh, you know, let's take a walk, let's talk, boom. We talked about Kaiser parenting, boom, boom, boom. He was like, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Kaiser will have a sibling on the way. And at the time, I was, like, that day, I was having a really bad day. And it was like, I was really emotional. So, of course, I'm human. I dropped a few tears about the situation. But overall, I'm just like, you know, I'm just, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm, you know, I, I don't feel any type of way about it. Like, like a lot of people, like when it came to the internet, a lot of people was calling me and checking on me. Like, are you okay? And how, how are you? And I'm fine. Maybe because I had been known, but I'm, I'm just fine. Like I got, I feel nothing towards the situation. It just. It's just kind of life. It's like life, you know? It just is what it is. 
that's how his life going and this is how my life is going people move on people make families with other people they got a lot of people with stepkids it's just it's just life i don't feel any type of way about it y'all a t page said you mess with devin bacon is that true i don't know who devin bacon is you guys um do you still have feelings for king i'm always have not not those type of feelings i love him yes you know i have a love for him that's my child's father we're family at the end of the day you know what i mean are you taking no i am not taking i'll be 25 this year like i'm not playing when i'm not playing you know what I'm saying? So it's like life just happened. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect me to be right here today. I didn't expect me to be right here, like in my own place. My son in the room, right? I didn't expect that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you show me something different. You know what I'm saying? Like you away from the East Coast. Like I'm away from the South. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. When I went to your hometown, that was my first time in Rhode Island. Never been, never heard of Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You lived in Baton Rouge. You see how I get down. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I like the, I like, I love like the, like the experience with you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, like, you excel me for me. Like you understand, like me. Like it's weird. Like you understand. It's like only a few people that I know understand. Me. Like besides like family, for, like close friends, and ain't too many of them. But like real life, like you know what I'm saying? I ain't got big family. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You and I, I, I really appreciate you, and I just feel like I'm, I've changed. You know what I'm saying? I changed. I changed. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like I made a mistake, but I feel like me as a person, like I know. As a man, I know. I know. Like for real, like you a woman, like you, you came into my life, and you, I don't know what you did, but you, you made me look at certain shit different. I think different when I'm with you. I talk different. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I touch things different. I, I'm, I'm, I look at certain things. Yeah, like you just mind. I, 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 I like you mind. I like being something that just mind. I like to be unique. I like to have shit everybody ain't got. Like you mind. You ain't going nowhere. I'm just, I know, like I'm. Making me nervous. I know I'm nervous. But I'm a man, like for real, for real. Like I'm not, like I'm not playing. You know what I'm saying? Really. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everything came, I feel like me as a person came, everything came to me too fast. From my mistake, you know what I'm saying? And like trying to like, like, like grow from that at the same time too, which it seemed like in a short period of time, it's like, like you have to really be in my shoes to really understand and feel and figure it, like really have to see what I saw and feel how I feel, like for, for anybody to tell me anything about you, about how I feel, about how we are, like now, nah, I don't know. It's some real life stuff. I feel like you just touched my soul. I'm serious, you know I am. I'm dead serious. I know, I know you are. You know me, like I'm serious. That's what I'm saying. I feel like another thing too, like people haven't seen the real me. Like nobody, like I feel like nobody didn't like get to see me, for me. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm a good nigga. Like, you know, I ain't gonna say, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I feel like. He is a very good nigga. Like, I feel for you. I ain't worried about none of that. I just watched on my phone. I ain't. How you want to say this now? Like, what you want to say now? <laughs> well, you know. You know, for a lot of people, I feel like I see like, we see everything. First of all, we see everything. We try not to read everything, but it's like yeah. Cause you can't help it. Yeah, you can't, you can't help it. it. Yeah. Comes to us, comes to us. And I feel like from the moment that anything hit, the internet it was different for me because like I was like I be getting like you know like people be coming and trolling on me and it's just like one thing about me is that I feel like I'm very real I don't try to act like somebody I'm not I don't do the most I never did anything for clout like yeah, like we were months into talking and, and never did I like do anything like viciously knowing that somebody will find it like yeah. you know like never was like that but i feel like it it hasn't been hard it's been different but i think i got some tough skin and stuff and should we talk about like i'm the roof <laughs> come on keep going whatever you feel whatever coming out whatever goes up
This is Ryan O'Kick. I just feel like, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, like things are too fast. Like it's too fast and stuff. But like y'all really got to understand like we're grown. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff that we've already experienced together, like we when we really like got connected we were together like damn near like all the time like every week i was coming out every weekend i was coming out here like we were spending a lot of time together getting to know each other when you spend so much time with somebody like things happen like yeah. it's just life like stuff happens and i feel like at the end of the day to be honest like we were always going at our pace yeah. Like it's fast for y'all, which I completely understand. Like Yeah, I completely I, understand too. I understand. I, get it. I, get it. I understand. I understand. I've always understood and this is why I never like I never speak out, I never say anything crazy cuz like, I understand like he has he had he had a fan base. He has a fan base that he built with a previous, you know, relationship yeah. and it's understandable y'all really are real like yeah, I get it. Y'all watched them for what three years? Yeah, three years like be together and stuff. I understand that. Um, so I feel like I'm very understanding of that. I've always been understanding of his situation. It's like you really can't help what's being put out there, you can't help the internet, you can't help what people are gonna say about us, it, the situation. At the end of the day, everybody's gonna have their opinions, but yeah. we're just telling you how it is. Like, yeah. I feel like from the jump we've been going at our pace. Life happens, and life happens, and this is a life happening moment. <laughs> it's a life happening moment, and honestly, honestly, and I seen something else like, oh, don't be embarrassed of hiding it, like we're pregnant and stuff. Mm. Pregnant. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I just laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I wasn't. We weren't embarrassed. We wanted privacy. Like we know how the internet is. We know how some people are. And like me as a person, like this is my first pregnancy. Like hormones. Like you know, like uh, uh this is a life changing experience for me. And it's like I didn't want to put it out there. And I didn't want to put it out there. We didn't want to put it out there. Both now. For clout. Nothing has ever been for clout. This video isn't for clout. This is us simply like, I want to be comfortable. Like, I want to be comfortable yeah. in my pregnancy. I want to enjoy it. And I just feel like it's still going to be hard because, you know, there's going to be people out there that say what they say. But I just feel like if you like really listening to this with an open mind and like just understanding like, yeah he's human i'm human but most importantly like he's human yeah he's human and we have i feel like we really like have something different like it's a different relationship that we have it's a different bond that we have like yeah my voice is shaking i'm out of breath <laughs> no, like, like, like what she's saying like you know like to be honest on my end too like I didn't want to say anything because of the simple fact of for one, like it's nobody's business. It's nobody. my business. Like if you really take like if like if I, at the end of the day, like I didn't trap it was, him. Nah, it, it wasn't no trap. Tra nah, like I didn't. That's the thing. Like I didn't trap you. You didn't trap me. Like we, he was just like it, it happened. It happened. Like and at the end of the day, like we had happened. we had it discussions happened. and you know we had talks and like. We had talks and yeah. we decided what was best for us and what we thought we could handle going forward. And that being said, like, you know, we're going to bring a baby into this world. And I yeah. just feel like it's my job as like a, a mother to be, to protect my child and, you know, to protect my like sanity. Cause like, I don't, I don't know. And I feel like, and to be honest with you, I feel like as a man too, like I feel like that's my job to step in and like protect you and protect, you know what I'm saying, what's coming into this world. Because like, like you said, I don't want no negative energy because be honest, like my first pregnancy or my first born, it was none of that. It was none of that. So I feel like at the end of the day, especially if I'm rocking with you and I'm genuinely like in love with you and I'm, I'm, I'm having these feelings with you, like I'm going to give you the same, I'm going to give you that same energy too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure like you, 
you you know what I'm saying? You straight all the way around. You know, especially like on that, especially like we yeah, you off camera, like still to this day, like we still like if people look at this down, we badly post like to say like that. I badly post. I ain't doing nothing that I'm not feeling, I'm not no. We ain't feeling it, we ain't feeling it. We doing it, we doing it. And then from the jump, like when you hit me up and told me that, I was just like, bet, like, I gotta man up. I gotta man up. I can't, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no deadbeat. For sure. Mm -hmm. You scared? Huh? You scared? You nervous? No, I'm listening. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you a little nervous now? Always nervous. Y'all see, oh my god, they can see my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to god, I've been like this with every finger. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just wanna let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? We got one coming on way. We got one. And like I said. We just felt like, you know, obviously, okay, like we seen what was said on what a what a tea room, shade room, whatever, like should I adjust the video? Oh yeah, you gonna adjust the video? <laughs> <laughs> that video, like I was so I think I said I was all concerned. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, like I would never ever like that's not <laughs> a way that I would ever want to address my pregnancy. This is my first pregnancy. Like I would never want to like address. I would never want to put out a pregnancy like that. I would never do anything for clout. It's been like something we've been, you know, keeping to ourselves for a while. For a while so it's like well i would never purposely put something out there like that in that way i was simply like i was done eating um <laughs> i am pregnant though <laughs> i was done eating and i was just playing around and i honestly meant to save the video but instead it posted on accident and, and I, I literally deleted it within four minutes 28 people saw the video and i guess out of the 28 people someone recorded it <laughs> and i'm like i'm sitting here right here like i'm sitting here like just you see I, me y'all like okay i just want to say i said turn your i was like turn on airplane mode like so calm <laughs> and i turned it on airplane mode and then I turned it back on because we had already deleted it and it still had posted. So I was like, oh, great. Like, you know, 28 people. I was so nervous. I was good, bitch. Nope. I was like, yeah. I was like, nobody's going to like, nobody screen recorded. That was too quick. Four minutes, bro. Like, what? <laughs> like, damn, they be quick with it. Never seen one of them, huh? Uh. Lemonade. You want lemonade? Okay, give me a minute. Hey, hey. I want lemonade, please. Oh, lemonade, please. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be respectful. Oh, they got kids cup here. Y'all, this Airbnb is so oh, cute. Lemonade, please. Oh, lemonade, please. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's really nothing to talk about, honestly. Like, it was just a very short, like, me basically explaining the schedule never have i never would i have thought that it would have been blown up to where it's make it seem like oh i was saying something shady or i was trying to be evil towards him i feel like this man is so sensitive y'all and i don't even be having to say nothing it's like i can't control what people 
I can't keep control what people say after, like, respond to what I say. Like, I'm not going to just keep watching what I say and walking on eggshells because you sensitive and you can't, you know, you can't hear through the internet. Like, it, it's, it's honestly just not my fault. And I feel like I spare this man so much. Like, I spare him with everything. I never stand up to my, for myself when it comes to explaining because I feel like we are family. At the end of the day, I would never go online and try to bash you, try to say anything about you as a father, try to say anything about you in any type of way. Y'all have never seen me. This man didn't got on live like he didn't got on live with Corey Car and Carmen. Like, and I still ain't say nothing, trying to expose me, trying to make y'all see the person that I really am. Like this nigga do so many so much options. I, I be trying my best to be an adult about every situation. Like, I feel like this man try to show me every chance he get and try to tell the world, like, want the world to see me as a bad person so bad. I feel like he got so much hate in his heart for me. And, and, and I don't even, it's like I just feel sorry for him. It's just, he got so much hate built up, like, in his heart about me. It's just sad. So, I'm just going to address a few things. Um, I'm not coming on here because I ain't got to prove. I know I'm a good mama. But, <clears throat> I just hate when people try to make it seem like something. That is not, when it's really not that deep. First of all, um, Splane came to me and basically said that he wanted Casa to go to school. Which is just like, uh, he wanted Casa to go to school uh, from my house. So, he wanted to, you know, have a stable environment for Casa to go to school. Whatever the case may be. That's fine with me. Like, I've always stayed with my mom. Like, I, 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 I don't mind having Casa. Like, I, like I said in the video, I miss my baby on weekends when he gone for two days. I, I love having him every day. Like, I love doing the mom. Like, so, he was like, oh, I think he should stay with you for, um... You know, for the weekends, the weekdays. I'm like, fine. He came up with that schedule. Like, and I don't have a problem with that schedule. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm like, okay, so why why can't you take him to school? Why? What is the big problem with him taking him to school? And he had every excuse in the book why he could not take Kaza to school. Y'all, when Kaza was in, he lives in Katy. When Kaza was in school in Katy, I was living in Houston. I had to drive. It wasn't an hour, y'all. It's not an hour. I had to drive 30 minutes every day to take Kaza to school, which is fine. I didn't have a problem with taking Kaza to school that far. It didn't matter to me because that's it, it makes a routine. You wake up early in the morning. Baby, you can wake up at 7.30. Just take your kid to school. Grab some Starbucks. It gets your day started. I don't have a problem doing that. So... I used to take Kaiser to school. I decided to take Kaiser out of that school because I felt like he wasn't learning. Um, I felt like he wasn't learning. They had kids working at that school. Um, it was easy access to get inside of the school. Like my son, they got all this dangerous, crazy shit happening in the world. Y'all think I'm finna? I don't take my son lightly at all. I don't take his safety lightly. I don't like. When people who are like known, I mean like we're very known people whether we know it like we're influencers. I feel like Kaiser is just as known as me. I don't like him being in places where I feel like people are, you know, using him or like treating him a certain way at school because of who he is. And that's just the workers. Like when I used to go in there, I used to have, and no shade to them. It's just like I wanted my son in a better school. I wanted him to be able to, like his school to be more secure. And Katie, his school was not locked. I feel like anybody could just, I think about crazy sh I feel like anybody could have just walked in. Like, they let, some, I sent my brother to go get Kaiser from school. My brother had never been at the school before. Um, nothing. They ended up letting my brother, they didn't even call me and make sure it was okay. He just said he was here for Kaiser Johnson. And they gave Kaiser to my brother. Like, well, that could have been anybody. It's just a lot of in his old school that rubbed me the wrong way that I didn't feel comfortable with. Um, I asked my very known friends, my very known wealthy friends, people that's kind of like on the same level as me. I asked around. I'm like, what's the best school for your kids? Like, what, what school do you take your kids to? I ended up finding an amazing school, y'all. I, 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 found, I found an amazing school in Houston. It just happened to be in Houston. It just happened to be closer to me, which was fine because when, when Casa was at his playhouse, he wasn't even taking him to school in Katy.
So I'm like, okay, I ended up finding Kaza another school to go to, which is fine because I was the only one taking Kaza to the school. I'm the only one paying for school. I, y'all, I don't ask from sh from this man, and this is what really pisses me off. I don't ask for sh like he ain't got to do a damn thing for Kaza, but spend time for with Kaza, and and when he at your house, take him to school, like. I pay $1,500 a month for my son to go to a great school where they teach him stuff, where the school is very locked down, secure. You got to get through three doors. You got to get through three doors just to get inside, inside of three super big molded doors to even get inside of the school. Like I make sure that his school is like A1. My son goes to the best, one of the best like schools in Houston. And this man tried to put it like, oh, he changed it to his school. And it's so far away from me. Y'all, I when he said this online, I'm like, can't be. This nigga can't just be sitting on here lying like this. This 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 shit is just getting out of hand. I mapped Splain address, the place he stays at right now, from my son's school. Of course, I'm not going to put his address out there, but I did take a screenshot. This is exactly fucking 28 minutes away. It's 28 minutes away. Stop trying to make it seem like the school an hour away. Like, oh, you got to spend so much gas. I pay for every activity cause to do in school, every field trip he go with. I pay for his school monthly. I never ask for help. I asked for help one time. This man said he was not paying for it. After that, if I want my son to go to this school, I'm going to pay for it. I don't give a because I know he going to learn more at this school. He's going to be more secure. And I'm not going to have to worry about his safety and whoever picking him up. The school is an A1 school. And a lot of my known friends and a lot of my super known friends that have kids go to the same exact school. Like, I take care of kids. I don't. And it's not like I'm looking for a pat on the back for it. Like, you don't never see me throwing in nobody's face what the do this man don't help me with nothing financially and i don't i don't care because i know people not as you know able but don't get on here on the lines with some old oh, it's gas money to to bring your son to school like you can go drive around roll around all day doing that whatever, whatever else you want to do so his whole excuse of not wanting to keep kaza during the week is because oh well um I just don't have time. My my I can't fit in my schedule. Like I can't fit in my schedule to bring him to school. That takes too much time out of my day to bring him to school. So he can stay over there, which is fine. Look, I can keep my mind, but don't try to sit on here like, oh, I deal with so much. I know out here giving their baby daddies a hard ass time. I let this man make a schedule. I agree to everything he say. Don't try to get on here and make it seem like I'm such a hard baby mama. Like, they really, you not on child support. You ain't got to pay. All I ask you to do is when your, when your son at your house, y'all, I'm paying for this school. We doing week by week. I'm paying for the school. This, this money coming out of my pocket. Which, of course, this is my son. I don't care. But at the same time, this money coming out of my pocket. When Casa going over there a week, he don't take Casa to school because he's saying, oh, well, um, I'm not going to take him to no school that's an hour away. School is 30 minutes away. I'm not going to take him to no school that's an hour away. It takes too much time out of my day. I have a schedule. I have stuff that needs to be done. I can't pay for gas money. I'm saying, explain, I don't care. I pay for the school. Just take him to school. And that was the one of the main reasons why. I'm like, why is he not in school? Every time he would go over there for the week, he would miss a whole week of school. Just because Swain didn't feel like it. Or he didn't have it in his schedule to say, cause of the school. This shit is weird. Like, And then, mind you, this whole situation was about the school. Why are you bringing up what I do with my son? What type of mom... Y'all, I'm telling you, this man would find anything. What... What would I look like? I travel, baby. I have a good time. I live a great life. Um, I travel. And why can't my son travel with me? I feel like this man, he sits up there and he just so mad that he sit up there and make a 
he make a, a a problem with everything. This man, the whole time last year, I would be going to France, and I couldn't take cards. I wanted to take cards so bad, but I was listening. I was trying to listen to, oh, you know, I was trying to be a good co-parent. I was trying to like not make it in a toxic way. He telling me Kaza can't go. Kaza, he would be like, oh, Kaza can't go. What you want to bring him so he can go lay up with another nigga? This my man. What the f are you talking about? Like this my man. And if I, I, so I didn't bring Kaza the whole time in France because Spain was giving me such a hard time about him going out of the country with me. Mind you, I've been to this place multiple times. I know it's probably one of the safest places in like one of the safest places in the world honestly more safe like it was a good place i was familiar with the place i went there several times he was still giving me hard times which i don't what does me laying up what a nigga have to do with me taking my son out of the country like come on now what are you talking about so i didn't take kaza i'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not leaving my son. I feel like if I'm out here experiencing the world and traveling the world, I feel like my son should be able to do the same thing. Mind you, I had help from my mom. My mom went out there with me. It was a family vacation. I took my son because I wanted to take my son. If I didn't take my son, this man will put it out on the on whatever. Oh, if y'all, if I didn't try to take Kaiser, he would be like, oh, so you, you don't want to take Kaiser. But you want to go to Greece. Why do you keep going to Greece? Like it's going to always be something. I can never win. Like it's a, it's a lose-lose situation. I take Kyle to Greece with me because I want my son with me. Oh, you taking him out of the country. It's dangerous. Don't like womp, womp, womp. Or I don't take him. I leave him at home. Oh, you leaving him at home. You trying to do this. You trying to do that. It's like a lose-lose situation. This nigga is always going to complain about something. This man cannot be... He gonna always find something wrong with everything I everything I do. It's just it's just annoying, honestly. So boom, it was that situation. I feel like I want if I want to take my son out of the country, I could take my damn son out the country. I go out the country several times. It's not my fault that you can't go out the country. It's not my fault that it, it, it's this is the life I live. I want my son to live the same life that I live. All in all, the baby mama. <laughs> Look, 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 look. Look at the camera. Camera. Cheese. What's up, my beauties? It's your girl, Nikki, and I'm back with another video. And today I have a special guest, Lena. <laughs> y'all been waiting on this video. Every time y'all request me to do a video with Lena, y'all finally got it. So, run the f views up. I mean, run the freaking views up. Period. <laughs> this video won't go yellow today. But y'all already read that title. Y'all seen that thumbnail. I'm going to be putting Lena in the hot seat. I told y'all that I'm already sweating. <laughs> so y'all put it really when you sweat in there. It's air. already pretty hot in here, y'all. <laughs> Here's why we got water. Because usually we'll have liquor, but we have a baby on board, so. I was, I was saying that, man. If I could have took a shot, I would have took two shots. Yeah. It was so nice and booze, giggly. Like, we could have got y'all okay, already okay. know. <laughs> I get drunk with somebody to <laughs> get to know them for real, for Break real. The ice. <laughs> so when she dropped the baby, let's hope that we can get drunk back. But, okay, so I screenshotted some questions. Oh, yeah, I screenshotted some questions if, um... If I don't have enough, then I'm just going to go back to the little Instagram thing. But yeah, y'all going to get straight into this video. She said she was nervous. Now it's my video, and I feel like I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but I got to stop cussing, y'all. But, okay. You ready? Yeah. Um, The first question is, how do you truly feel about Nick and King's co-parenting style? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like you guys... I obviously have your ups and downs and stuff like that and bumps mm -hmm. on the road which is normal like you guys are young new to co-parenting you guys like I said are both young but I feel like for the most part you guys do a good job you know like some people when they get into their little bumps they'll let that like drag on I mm -hmm. feel like you guys are really good at just like getting into the little issue 
and like putting it, it to the side and then just go, you know keeping it the focus on Kaiser and stuff like that so I feel and I feel like now you guys are doing so much better too could you have do you think that I'm a, a good baby mama for a uh, splain yes cause I feel like <laughs> Worse. Like, there's people out here that do the most, and I don't feel like you do the most. Like, I feel like, you know, some of the stuff that you not done in the past, but like, you know, what you guys go through is like normal stuff. It's mm -hmm. normal feelings. It's normal for you to feel some type of way about this, that, and the third, or want him to do certain things. Like, you're a mother at the end of the day. So, I feel like from mother to mother, I understand certain Okay. And okay. I understand how guys be too. So, <laughs> That's a little slow. That's true too. <laughs> Somebody said, okay, now this is like a a, a a crazy question, but fuck it, we're going crazy. Since Nick had a threesome with King in the past, would you do a, cre a threesome <laughs> with King now? No. <laughs> no. Ah, that opens up the cheetah, y'all. Learn from me. Yeah, Don't do it. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've done that before in Miami. <laughs> I wasn't in a relationship. I was really single. I don't even know who the person really was. <laughs> being honest. Oh, that was another question. So you had a threesome before? Yeah, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. But you know, I really keep that very. <laughs> well, I mean, no, every. Exposed, I exposed her. <laughs> That's what the hot seat is for. Yeah, this was well, new this, tea. This was um, this was Miami, like 20, 2020 or something during like vacation. This was they used to live in a hot girl. Yeah, I was. Hot girl summer. It was a hot girl summer. And then quarantine happened. <laughs> quarantine happened right after that. So I had my little fun. Period. I know that's. I feel like for me, I kind of mind my business, if mm. I'm being honest. Like, I really do mind my business. You know, like, obviously it's hard to just, like, stay shut when, you know, you guys are going through your sh I'm sure you, you could relate. But, like, it'd be like. You're going to give an opinion, but I'm not going to go to the max. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'll give some words, but I always look at it from two point of views. I'm not just, like, a yes girl. Like, oh, yes, babe. Like, you're right, you're right. I'm like, no, like, you know, you got to look at it from this point of view, that point of view type shit. But, I mean, I kind of have my business, so. I know that's right. I really don't got much to say about that part. <laughs> Somebody said, was there ever a time y'all didn't like each other? Because I feel like everybody just thinks that a whole lot of my questions was filled with, like, when did y'all become cool or like when did y'all decide to get over the beat i feel like i always have respect for you you know what i mean mm -hmm. like I, there was no reason for me not to have respect for you like at the end of the day like when i got with you and stuff like and he, i got a rundown of the situation i'm like okay like that's what comes with you you know like mm -hmm. i can't like why am i gonna be bitter to you i never had a feeling that you guys were like still into each other or messing around like i feel like that's the only time where animosity gets built if you like aren't secure or even if that was the case and that was the situation that would have still had nothing to do with me you know what i mean like that's a man's that's what he would have been doing on the side. I can't control that. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, are you still like talking to your baby mama like this? Or Yeah, but I feel like sometimes. When you pick up your son, what do you do in the house? Like, I was never like that. Like, I used to be like, go ahead. Like, you know, I'm here. I'm chilling. I'm watching my shows. Like, yeah. I was never. I'm not like that. I feel like, but I feel like the feeling of you kind of being secure and knowing that we was over kind of helped stuff too. Because yeah. I feel like if I still feel like. Dwayne has something going on with his baby mama. I feel like I wouldn't be as comfortable and open yeah. as I am as I am for us like all to be a, all to be together. Cause I'd be like looking like cleaning my face. Yeah, like, I got some shit on behind my back. You know what I mean? So I feel like that was like a just because in a way you didn't feel like we had anything going on, so it kind of helped it too. Like, yeah. Even like I said though, even if there was something and I didn't know, cause then I was like oblivious. To yeah, it, like it wouldn't have, would have been. Nothing. Yeah, it wouldn't have been like that. Would have been on him and you guys. You know that wouldn't have to do with me. Like that would have been me playing the wrong card. <laughs> I guess that's true. Y'all, because everybody think you like plan to trap him. Like I'll be reading the comments and y'all be like, she be like, they was like in the first beginning. Yeah, she trapped them. She planned that. I'm like, like first of all, baby, I can't trap a man. <laughs> <laughs> like, a baby don't keep a man <laughs> and a baby definitely don't keep a man <laughs> neither does marriage but yeah no honestly like it wasn't obviously I didn't have the intentions of like oh my god yes get me pregnant like no that wasn't my intentions like I was in school like I was at Baton Rouge I was going to LSU you know like mm -hmm. I had my stuff in rows and I had just 
recently moved to Louisiana, but I mean, life happened how it happened, and I was just like, well, I never been pregnant, you know, like what kind of person? And you ain't just you ain't want to spend that five hundred. <laughs> my family out here like I didn't really have nobody to like sit down you know I don't regret having my baby yeah but I didn't have nobody to sit down and like you know talk to me I kind of just made a decision on how I felt and I was like well we're not in a situation like it's not like you know like you're a sneaky link and mm -hmm. this that and third so I was just, like I mean kind of like yeah like I, yeah like I actually liked him you know liked him and stuff like that and everything was going smooth but I was like I was scared like duh, like I had other going on and I had to move my whole life from school and just moving to Baton Rouge to Texas to be like in the same facility so I mean it was a lot on me but I didn't have the intentions of meeting him and being like yes get me pregnant yeah like, I feel no. like you just kind of got pregnant and you followed your intuition and look at y'all now yeah yes, I mean this time around I was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> what you said this time around Y'all plan to have a baby? Was this baby planned? No, it wasn't what? planned, but I mean, we didn't prevent it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wanted my kids to be close in age, and I knew after I had another one, I was done. Okay. I wanted them to be close in age, and I was like, you know, my body kind of already now, so let me just get it over with. And afterward, I'm going to, you know. Did back. you want a girl? Again? Um, I didn't care what I had. I wanted, if I had a girl, I would, I was still happy because Ocean would have a best friend. And mm -hmm. me and my sister were six years apart, so I didn't really get to like, you know, like we were, I was older than her. So it's like, I could never relate to her on anything yeah. because, you know, but I had, I always wish like, if I had a sister, I would be sharing clothes. I mean, like, like Lotto and yeah. her sister. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. they're so, really close in age. They seem really close. But if I had a boy, I would have, I was obviously going to be happy because I get to see what I would look like on a boy, but I'm happy I, I have another girl. Are y'all going to try for a boy? No. No. This it? Do y'all yeah. done? Oh, I'm done, girl. Yeah, you I'm, never want to be pregnant again. No, never, ever, ever. You don't get your tubes done? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I don't want no more kids. Like, you know, Ocean was easy. This is what they say. The first pregnancy is easy because it gives you confidence to go and get another one. And then the second time around, you're like, damn, this is hard and this is hard. So, yeah, I'm good. Oh, After this, I want to get my life back on track. <laughs>
gummy bear with <laughs> some resistance. Cookout out here. Hold on. Close your eyes. Right. And I want to say that I love you. And this is for you. And I know. What is it, man? Stop. Surprise. So you open your eyes. Surprise. You're lying. You're lying. No way. Surprise. Yay. You're lying. I'm not lying. I got this. This is what I just been doing this whole time. Right? For me? Why? I promise. I got the key. How do you open it? So you got to like... Yeah, right. Bro, tell you. <gasps> OMG. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wow! You're lying. I'm so serious. <laughs> no, this is what I got. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at it's the front. It's a for real. No, forget it. Let me see you in the front. Look, look. Babe, are you joking? Dad, serious right now. Really? Okay, I got the baby. I got the baby. Yeah, we'll get the baby. I can't believe that. You did not. I did. I did. Uh huh? We got some words coming in. Like, I'm gonna get chills in the back. I'm like, yeah, go, baby. Go, 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 go. You Thailand? <laughs> oh, I didn't even say it to them where we were going. Oh, we're already past the Thailand? You going to Thailand? I'm going to Thailand? Oh, yeah, maybe I should get my phone. Yeah, it's a prank. <laughs> no, for real. Okay. Like, no, I'm just like I'm confused right now. This a prank or this for real? Like, no, that's for real. We're really going. Look, I'm about to show you the confirmation. To Thailand? Uh, hmm. How do I show you it? Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. Are you excited? Are 
Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Maybe it's a title? <laughs> I didn't even tell her, bro. Now we know. To Thailand. Yo, look. Thailand. Oh, thank you. Can we go for you? Yeah! I'm constantly, I, I'm just so tired of being blamed for every single thing. First of all, I made my YouTube video of me vlogging to get Kaiser ready for his dad's engagement. Explain. Yeah, I made a video, y'all know, y'all see my vlog, and it just started this whole thing of me getting Kaiser ready for his dad's engagement party. Um, after I made that video, I guess you guys started commenting under it, peeping that basically explained it by Kaiser's outfit for his engagement party. And I had to pick up the slack, like always, for his engagement party. Watch, mind you, in that first video, I didn't say nothing disrespectful, I wasn't shady. I'm just simply vlogging my day, and this is what's going on in my day, so that's why I spoke on it. Your attention, please. From there, um, from there, people start making comments. I guess y'all went into explaining Lena's comments and start making comments on them not getting caused nothing for the engagement party. From there, I seen a video where Lena went on live talking about how what I stated in my video wasn't correct and that we, me and my mom, was the reason that um, me and my mom was the reason why, or my mom, so say, was the reason why Kaza didn't have an outfit for the engagement party. First of all, I feel like as a dad, I mean, I'm so tired of people blaming, like, explain is so spoiled, honestly. I'm a good baby mama. I don't give him no problems. I don't ask him for nothing. Explain don't pay for shit. Lena don't pay for shit. It seems like the only time she can speak up is when um, some hit the fan and it's public because it's a lot of stuff that go on behind closed doors that I spare these people with and the only time they can speak up is when something hit the fan these people act a certain way off of camera explain does not help with shit. he doesn't provide nothing for Kaza I can't remember last time he didn't pay for a haircut for Kaza but seems like every time some they get caught up with shit or trying to leave or they get caught leaving Kaza out of something or not making Kaza a priority um shit hit the fan all of a sudden both of them want to say oh Nick don't never have Kaiser her mom just because I have support and just because I have help they think that's a bad thing or whatever either way if I didn't have my mama I don't know who to be helping me with Kaiser because at the end of the day Splain ain't there he never is like he don't help with nothing y'all when I tell you nothing he doesn't go and see Kaiser I'm in Louisiana if I can count and I feel like this is stuff that I don't even have to prove to y'all I feel like this is stuff that I shouldn't even have to prove to nobody or say because I know what I do for my son and I know when I'm there for my son Sway has never made it to a surgery a doctor's appointment recital at school, uh, a, a school play. Splain has never showed up for nothing and we invite Splain to every single thing. But guarantee you, when Kaza go over there for the one day or the two day that he there, they gonna put the camera in his face. Regardless of the situation, this whole started is because they didn't buy Kaza an outfit for their engagement party. My mama dropped Kaza off to that engagement party. All the kids had on suits and long ass it's no way that Kaza shouldn't have had an outfit for y'all engagement party, and that is not my fault. It's not my fault that it's not my fault that my mama left the outfit supposedly. Even if y'all did, why are y'all asking her to get an outfit? If y'all don't do shows for Kaza, y'all couldn't even get him an outfit for y'all own. Event. It does not make sense, and yet y'all still find a way. Even even after, because at one point I wanted to leave Kaza home. He didn't have no haircut. He wasn't prepared. He didn't have no outfit. Nobody made it a priority to make sure that he was there. They wanted me to drop, they wanted my mama and me. Because every time something is laid back on my mama, I take care of my mama and Kaz. So every time so she, they see the time to make comments about, oh, my mama, my mama, my mama do this. Yeah, my mama do that because I'm taking care of both of them. Even after I be the good baby mama that I always am, the easy, easy peasy, let it everything slide, baby mama that I am, and go out and get Kaz an outfit for their event, it's still a Problem. Now y'all trying to make, shine light, trying to make it seem like I was being negative about it. No, y'all just didn't want people to know what really goes on behind closed doors. Y'all want to put on this persona for the internet and make it seem like, oh, we are always there. Oh, Kaiser, y'all use Louisiana as an excuse for everything. No, that's not the excuse. Because if so, if somebody wanted to, they would. And they don't never show up for Kaiser. I, Kaiser stay in Louisiana, but guarantee every. Week. I'm in Louisiana every weekend, every three, four days. I didn't went to Louisiana and stayed there for five days. I had to text plan and say, hey, what's up? Like, why you ain't hit your son up? Why you don't call him? It's been many times Kaz have been telling me like, oh, you know, my dad doesn't love me, this, that, and the third. Oh, he leave me out. How come he loved this, that person more than me? It's been multiple times. I didn't been in Louisiana for a whole entire week and ain't get a call, a text, or nothing from and my mama wasn't there. It was just me and Kaza there by ourselves. So I don't want to hear this story like they try to put on this persona and I say they every single time. I don't ask for shit. Literally, I don't ask for shit at all. At least y'all could have did was got my 
baby an outfit for y'all engagement party. Y'all want to lean back on us and try to make excuses and blame us for everything when he wasn't put together. This nigga, you supposed to be so called a f dad. You so fucking a uh, hoopty hoo, a uh, super dad. But you didn't have you. When the last time you paid for a haircut, make sure this man, this cop, this boy had a haircut. Like you don't do nothing. And Lena, you overstep. Like you need to stay the f in your place. Before you get put in your place. Because at this point, you over talk yourself. You want to support the shit that that nigga is doing. If anything, if I'm a fiance and um, I'm a woman, just being a woman in general, I'm, I'm shopping for this, I'm shopping for that. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I ask my dude, do the kids have outfits? Like, it, it's just, do the kids have outfits or do they have something to wear? I feel like, Lena, as a woman, you should have stepped in and got Casa something. If you're supposed to be this fiancé as a woman, you should have made sure that his kids was taken care of. Because if y'all getting married, he's going to be a part of your life. I don't care if it was y'all, you and you and Splain's day and this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, the kids are going to always be there. Casa is going to always be there. At the end of the day... Kaiser is a part of Splane, so it should not be no reason for him to be left out of anything at all. And that's just what pisses me off because I still got this boy ready. When y'all literally did not have an outfit for my son, didn't make sure he had a haircut, and then try to still get online and put it and paint it as if though I'm a bad mom. And I hate that. Splane get every second that he can, can prove that I'm a bad mom, he tries to remember. I am the best baby mama that a nigga can ask for. I don't ask for nothing. I take care of my son. My son is well taken care of. He don't have to do nothing. Splain won't lift a finger to pay for nothing. Like, won't even pay for a birthday party, but show up first with the camera in everybody's face trying to make it seem like he did something. The way he had to pay for cause a birthday party. Like, come on, let's be real. We don't, I don't really speak about the shit going behind closed doors. Y'all don't do for him. So stop trying to put on this persona like y'all do. Y'all don't show up. Y'all don't do. And then don't try to stop trying to make it seem like it's because he's in Louisiana. Because every time my son have an event, I'm showing up. Nigga, you don't show up. And Lena, stop. Stop. And yes, I did text her and ask her to stop speaking about that school situation. Because she's a annoying. All she do is speak and speak and step out of her place. She needs to learn to stay in place. And I'm so sick of it. Y'all trying to make everything about us. Every time, every time something happens, it's Nick's fault. Every time something happens, it's Nick's okay, mama's fault. No, take accountability. Learn how to accountability and learn from it and the reason why I even made that second video when I was in the car and I was in that brown and I explained the story is because Lana got on live after me and her had had a conversation behind closed doors and after me and Splane had had a conversation behind closed doors you speak your false stuff trying to save face don't get a beat up trying to save face getting on live spilling the tea because I don't know it just pisses me off I'm so over saving they, they don't do be quick to put the fucking camera in Kaza's face. Kaza just went there three weeks ago, the whole spring break. He spent his whole spring break at these people's house. I explained, hey, can Kaza run out of clothes? He's going out of his clothes. Can you buy you can you buy him a new wardrobe? Can you go to Walmart, get him like ten pair of shorts and ten shirts for the summer? It's getting hot outside. You know what this man did? Sing him home empty handy again. I I, I it's sent him home empty handy. Cash at my mama ten a hundred dollars. Like the Get a hundred dollars here. You don't do nothing. Like I'm so tired of sad it's saving face. People just stepping over boundaries and then mind you this whole situation happened. You know it's some type of underlying issue, y'all. Like literally I was vlogging getting my baby ready. Something so innocent and they took it and they trying to spin it around and make it seem like oh I'm bitter. Baby, nobody's bitter over here. When people get sick. Nobody's bitter. Honestly, I don't even say when you when y'all asked me to get him ready, I didn't complain, I didn't come to y'all, I didn't do nothing. So I'm just so tired of people making this narrative like uh, King and Lena making this narrative like, oh, I'm trying to rain on y'all fucking parade because that's never the case. So all in all, I'm over speaking about it. Like I can really go on and on. When Casa go over there, it's always some weird shit. Went on. I just had to check explain about um, Lena talking to Kaza in the kind of way while he was, she didn't even know he was on the phone with my mama. And my mama, he was talking to my mama and my mama was telling him, I mean, he was telling my mama that he hadn't hurt himself or failed or something like that. And Lena gonna say, oh, Kaza, just get over it already. Like, speak to no child like that. It's always some weird shit going on. It's really always some weird going on. And that's why he don't like even going over there. But I don't want to speak about that. And I still be forcing him to go over there because I want him to build a relationship with his dad. But at this point, it's just getting overwhelming. Like, y'all look for a nigga to do everything. Y'all don't do shit. And then want to praise on the internet. Y'all wonder why y'all get bashed. Every time they get bashed, they hit me up. So I'm like, hey, can you stop doing this? Hey, can you stop doing that? Y'all, if y'all was doing what y'all had to do in real life, nobody would see every y'all excuse or 
y'all had to bring up, nobody would be complaining. Do what you gotta do in real life. That way you don't have to worry about what people saying about you when they find out how you really are. Period. He should have had a fit. Period. It's not my fault. It's not my mama's fault. It's not it's not our event. It's y'all event. Sway you as a dad, as a man, that's your only son. Do better. You need to do better. Cause he don't gotta be around. Do better. You should have had him an outfit first for your outfit. This and it's just so annoying because now somehow I'm getting blamed because he ain't had no outfit, or my mama getting blamed because he ain't had no outfit. That don't even make sense. Do better, Lena. Stop, stop supporting. He do. Do better. If that's your husband, you want him to be better. Make him be a better dad. How about you do that? You spend all that time sitting on live, yapping your big. But you need to do better. And, and maybe speak, turn that energy and make your nigga do better. Because you're always talking about what the mama don't do and how the mama ain't there. Make sure your nigga doing what he's supposed to do. Because one thing about it, a, never, a nigga could never sit around me and, you know, me and um, be a bad dad. Period. So, I don't know. You, 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 you putting your energy towards me and talking about getting online and saying all this shit in your breath. You should be telling that shit to your nigga. Period. And I'm tired of speaking on like, swing, do better. You don't do shit. Come on, let's be real. You don't want nobody to find out that you don't do shit. That's why you're trying to save face and go online and try to make it and try to redirect the situation on me being a bad mom. I'm not a bad mom. And I don't even have to get on here and explain what the f do for my son because I know I do for my son and I'm there for my son. That's not even something we're going to talk about. That's not even proof. I ain't even got to prove that. I ain't got to make no video. I ain't got to make no statements. I ain't got to do nothing about me being a good mom for my son. That's that's just, that's just that's giving. See y'all, y'all gotta do the most to try to make him to prove. Y'all gotta shove the camera in his face every time he around for that two seconds just to make it seem like y'all involved when y'all not. Like let him plot the tea. Come on now. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Like I'm so sick of people speaking on me, girl. Like let it go. Like and and I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a lot of stuff. I got book receipts. Every time I check, explain about something. Every time we had uh, every offline conversation and whatever, I got a whole bunch. of my phone, but and, and I be feeling like we don't even be having to do this. I hate doing this. But one thing you're not gonna do is just try to play with me and try to switch the situation on me. Cause every time y'all do some weird, y'all try to put it back on me and blame us. Y'all need to start looking in the mirror and really taking accountability for what the f do. And since y'all be so quick to say that y'all communicated with my mama and that oh y'all had an understanding it would and, and my mama knew I just didn't know because I don't have cousin 24 a then we'll let my mama talk I'll put her on FaceTime so that she'll put her two cents in because obviously y'all feel like y'all y'all be talking to my mama all the time and y'all got some type of agreement when she call his mama and his mama will let you know exactly how everything be laying out but this my mama so I'm literally i'm literally on the phone with his mama right now okay so first of all uh just a quick version they called me like a week and a half and said they were having they called me like a week and a half and said they were having a party um can i bring kaiser to texas which i always do that even though it's four hours i do that I was promised my heart, I said, yes, I'll bring him. Never said what kind of party it was. The, the, the night before, and I have the text messages I can show you guys, he said, do you have any slacks, the white shirt? I said, I should have some. I'll check when I get home. Now, that next morning, I was really busy trying to get everything together and get to Texas. I texted him and said, I forgot to look. I couldn't find it. He said, that's fine. I'll be kind of off here. One hour before I had to drop Kaiser off to the event, then he asked me to pick Kaiser up from the event. They told me I wasn't able to get it, and you get it. So I had to call Nick because at this point, if I don't call Nick to get it, I didn't have time to stop. We're just making it to Texas, and I'm exhausted. So Nick had to, she said, what is it? I asked him what is it. He said it's our um, engagement party, and Nick was like, oh, no, Mama. He's not going to an engagement party, which is anything. Oh, we didn't go get him an outfit. So we had 30 minutes to run to the mall, get Kaiser an outfit, um, to go with a shirt that he already had, and I got him to the event in time, and I picked him up that night. Um, Lena, I am tired of her trying to degrade my daughter as a mother because me takes good care of guys. Me pay for children. She pay. Me take care of me. Nick is here every week, at least two or three days out of the week, taking her son to school. He is in a, one of the best schools in Baton Rouge um, right now, and everybody knows why he's going to school here. Who better to help take care of your child than your mother, somebody who loves that child just like you? So, man, you know, stop breaking my baby as a mother because you don't have help. There's more I can say, but I'm not going to do it because I still love him. Like he's like a son to me. But keep that little um, lovely lady, keep them just clothes.
Okay. Alright, love you. Love you too.